pals. For watching Shogun Season 1, Episode 8. Thanks for joining us again. Here we go. Oh, I guess he knows already. My guess is he knows already and he's dealing with the sadness. Yeah, he does not look well. I, I forgot that he's obsessed with death. Yeah. Such a weird dude. He's super weird. Saikisama's army will camp at Edo's boundary where they will wait for Toranaga-sama to mourn his son. How long? The customary 49 days. Oh, so bottom time, yeah, huh? Yeah, but at what cost? No worries, bro. No worries. We will wait they to will. kill you. <laughs> take the customary 49 days to yeah. be sad. And then and we'll grieve. execute you and we'll take yeah. over. It's actually a kindness, I suppose. It's it's crazy how it's on bottom time. Yeah. Wow. Look at you learning language and everything. Yeah. But let's got, strategize. He's got, he's got no words though. He's just like he's mourning. He can't yeah, say anything. Yeah, he can't. Oh gosh. Is he letting his health go? My lord instructed me to give these to you upon entry to the city for the completion of your service. When we submit to the council, you're not required to join us since you no longer choose to stand with us anyway. That's not actually how he feels. Fine strategy, he has. At least Nagakado Sama died fighting. We're all fighting our own battles. And my translator, what becomes of her? Good question, huh? Don't go to Osaka. She... My allegiance forbids me from doing anything else. Yeah, she has her duty to fulfill. But what about her duty to her heart? It's like, do you not know her? She gave herself to him once, and it's like, that's all it took, and now he's just like in love forever, and is like, no, don't, don't. Yeah. I love you. I need it again like a drug. Once is not enough. Oh, but he cares for her. Bob's. I'm just yeah. saying. He's looking out for her well-being, or so he thinks. If only her ex could have shown up a day sooner, it might have been a little bit easier to let her go. Excuse you? Her ex? No, her current. Yeah, but emotionally, it's her ex. <laughs> I know I messed up, but I'm saying, like, she doesn't want to be with him. <laughs> He's her husband. I, I get it, though. There has to be a battle at some point between her husband and Blackthorn. Some kind of samurai duel. Or him with a sword and, hit, and Blackthorn with a cannon. <laughs> Don't bring a sword to a cannon fight. Exactly. Oh, jeez. That's a run. This is beautiful. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, don't get too excited, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. Putting it all out there. She's good. He's being very forward. Mm. I don't think she's gonna like this. Mm -mm. Wow, wow, wow. No, you overstepped. Does she have a sword tucked in her sleeve? <laughs> It doesn't serve her to kill him right now, though. That's true. She needs the five, right? The, the council. I just feel like she's not really someone who reacts emotionally most of the time. As much as I'm reading her body language and going, ooh, I don't feel like that's a yes. <laughs> he seems bothered, huh? Yeah. Incredibly foolish. Yeah. What are you thinking, buddy? I know. Here we go. Yeah, he seems really affected. Yeah, they were friends in their own way. Even though, you know, he, was, even even though, though he, was he was manipulating Yeah. Her. Oh. Yeah. 
Tor Nagasama ni. The thing is, Tornaga keeps everything so close to the chest. Exactly. He, nobody knows what he's like thinking, what he's planning. I wonder though if his people would ever consider like a sort of mutiny. It's kind of what's low key happening, isn't it? Mm. I can hear you. I'm right here. What? Hmm. Interesting. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. So you can go <laughs> catch up with Ishido. See how the other side is doing. Wow. That's a nice, I guess, coffin. A lot more boxy than I would have expected. Yeah, but it's very ornate. God, I feel bad for him. Yeah. So, as far away as he can be from everything. Hmm. I think that's important to know about her. He doesn't seem as angry right now. No. Ice. <laughs> She's like, oh, so awkward. I wonder if there's anything in the way she said that that is unusually like business like or respectful. They just look so uncomfortable together, like in the same room. Well, she, he's certainly uncomfortable with the fact that she's uncomfortable. Yeah, exactly. And she's just so cold to him. And so you don't have to be a genius to be like, this is awkward. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> he just said he doesn't want firewood, right? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> kind attempt to translation, Father. Alas, you are wrong. <laughs> He's like, oh, shit. I am impressed. Yeah. yeah. We're all impressed. <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, now kindly piss off. Typically, a Hatamoto is given residence within the confines of his lord's castle. He's like, what are you trying to say? Yeah. <laughs> what are your plans? Now he has cut you loose. To start, I will reunite with my crew. Get back aboard my vessel, and then pay a visit to that black ship I've heard so much about. Will you wear those clothes when you see your men? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I intend to. Thank you, Father. Hmm. Trying to sow doubt inside of him? Yeah. Nice try, Father. It's not going to work. He doesn't like him. He's never liked him. Ishido-sama <laughs> おたくしたちとむすんだ取り決めてございますが、東京会は万策を尽くしましたが、日山様と大野様は虎永様のお味方につけることが叶いませんでした。He's like, my son just died. Oh. That's the most direct we've seen him be towards somebody. Yeah. Unlike Ishido, you love the air. If you form an alliance with his mother, the air would be free to turn against Ishido. Huh. Interesting. How do you suggest that? Would she, though? I don't trust anybody. No. She hates him, though. Yeah. その方はかつて落ち葉の方と親しかった万に一つ落ち葉の方が私と迷惑を結ぶことがあると思うか。In <笑> a thousand years. <笑> no. 
That's not a bad response, though, considering the look she had on her face when she had the marriage proposal. Right. Wow. Everyone has to go. Is this all part of the plan? Like, this must be all part of the plan. You know, like, his son, his son's death obviously has struck him down, but I feel like maybe he's pivoting and just not telling people he's pivoting. I don't know. It could be that, or it's just that he's, like, really deep in his grief right now, and he's serious. Oh. Well, I was wondering about that because, like, I was like, okay, so what is he going to tell that he sees here that uh, Lord Toranaga is in defeat? He's really sad. He's poorly. He's trying to make them believe that he's weak. Right. So that you can surprise attack. That's the only thing that I could think. So, Crimson Sky or whatever it's called, it's still on. Yeah. We're exchanging poetry. It's called haikus. I wouldn't be able to like handle things the way they're handling things. I'd just be like, yo, just tell me what's up with you. Like, just, I gotta know. <laughs> Everything is behind eightfold fences everywhere. You can't just say what you're feeling. Is this him trying? Is he trying to be sweet? He was more honest with Toronaga about the situation with her than they are with each other. That's just regular tea, right? He has matcha. I know, but like, he didn't do anything to it. No, he just made it with love. Now what? <sighs> Does she make him tea? Oh. Oh, he's really trying. The brevity of life. Mm. Yeah, that's straightforward. Yeah. That's very straightforward. What? What do you mean? He means that they just... Do it together. Let's go. Uh. There's freedom. A choice. A choice, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Oh, she just doesn't want him. Damn. How does he react? Is he going to be angry? Is he going to just be hurt? What a rejection. Oh gosh. No, I think he's just heartbroken. Yeah. But that can turn to anger real quick. And she's like, with that, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> Mic drop. Mic drop. I'd rather live a thousand lives than die with you right now he felt like he gave everything to her yeah he was trying he was trying so hard he was trying to be romantic and everything and she was still like that's sweet but no well i can't say that he really deserves a chance after smacking her up like, and that's the only time we saw that could have exactly. happened multiple times Oh, his men are okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've been partying. Y'all are a noisy bunch. Take them and go. Getting drunk, having a grand whole time. We don't want them. <laughs> Here he is the whole time thinking that they're just like in a prison and a yeah. dungeon. Turns out. They're probably having a better time than he is. Exactly. Oh, God. He's like, oh, no. Oh, he's, he's gotten used to the smell of clean. Like Billingsgate at no time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Maybe you turn around now. They've been drinking and yeah. whoring out yeah, here. Yeah, 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 get away, get away. No, he's gonna <laughs> call him. It's too late, he saw you. Oh shit. Pilot? Yeah. Uh. John Blackthorn. Oh. That's you. 
Ie. Isso. Não. Ie. Yeah. <laughs> How are you? It's giving you up for dead. God, he looks dirty too. How many of us left? Six. Barely hanging on. Looks like you're hanging on in a good way. Well, I've been given clearance for us to return to Erasmus. No. Nah. No? We're having too much fun? Where is the pilot? Want to take us this time? Oh. Maybe <laughs> Africa? Or back to the Americas? Since you're here, pilot, tell me something. We spent these months wasting away because our pilot had ambitions of his own. Hmm. What is left of us is because of you. I'll speak to the rest of the men myself. First, take off those skirts. I said, take them off. Whoa. Yeah. This whole time he's been worried about you, man. Oh man. Stay down. Oh shit. Uh. He's changed too much. Uh oh. 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 Okay. I think. I think he's good. Why am I sure? I think he was just trying to make sure he wasn't going to attack him anymore. That's why he kept punching him. He's got him. Filthy. <laughs> he finds them dirty now. He used to be just like them. You've changed, Blackthorn. You've changed. Yeah. What happened to you? You're not a barbarian anymore. <laughs> Oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to be talking to him. I know. To sail for Toranaga-sama against his enemies. Now he is determined to die. Fine. <laughs> Not going to stop him. I now wish to forge allegiances benefiting this country economically and strategically. You wish to sail on your wishing sama's behalf? I don't wish it. He is a shit face. <laughs> <laughs> あ、やぶしげ様がおさかで虎永様側に加わることを望んでおられるという愚かな手すりをしておられるように見受けられます。恥ずべきことにございまする。いや、he <笑> Nobody does. No one yeah. knows what he's up to. No one. He's keeping the cards so close to the chest. Well, let me explain again. There is no explaining treachery, especially against your sworn lord. Yeah. I'm free of any obligations to him. He has made that very clear. If he were in my position, he would do the same. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't, because that would never cross his mind. Like barbarian. Oh. But I do know that now I am left to whittle what fate I can for myself. It's an awkward place. Yeah. I've known you were a man who understood the importance of taking fate into his own hands. Hmm. Is it feeling to his ego? Yeah. Respect. I feel seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nephew. Uh, no. Rejection. Yeah. <laughs> to his face. You see, once loyalty begins, it does not have an end. Yeah. Otherwise, it would not be loyalty. But loyal turns senseless very quickly when the order is subsided. Would you like me to translate that? Or was it for me? Mm, that was for you, sweetie. It's a bit of hypocrisy coming from her, isn't it? The loyalty thing? How do you mean? She slept with him. But she's loyal to her lord. But not to her husband. I don't know, this loyalty thing's a little bit confusing. I get it, though. Yeah, but her mistress is the one who had the vision. Hmm. Yeah, he's second guessing himself. Yeah, he's got a lot he's thinking about. It's like a magic eye. She's got to believe. Saying that though, I'm not the best at that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, 
あちらの方々はどうなんですか。Oh my God! What a great sense of humor. I wrecked the church right next to the courtesans. Yeah, it's perfect. You can save them too. Immediately after they hang out with the courtesans, they can come and confess their sins. Oh my God! What's going on? Hmm, how do you feel about this? Strokes is like one of those things that freak me out. It can just like come out of nowhere. Medicine or poison? That's what I was wondering too. Is it actually <laughs> you beat me to it? I was like, is that actually medicine? And with that, I leave you. <sighs> I think it's kind of. Oh! What? She fooled me. Well, she has to bury it down real fast because she got shit to do. She's all about the business. Oh, that's crazy. She had a fleeting moment yeah. of humanity. Yeah, and then she just. I thought she was pretending to be sad, and then was just like, "No, actually, I'm really glad that you're gone because now I'm in power, bitch." What I got was that she genuinely felt something for a moment, but she had to put it away. That works too. Even this weakness, I'm like, is he actually feeling yeah. this? Yeah, is he just acting? His eyes seem very bright, though. Gotta be a ruse. It's, it's like I'm surrendering my guns, but really they're just gonna bring it to use them, right? Or is he just trying to see who is going to sign and then those are the people that are, that are loyal? Mm. And then the ones who are like, no, I would never. He's like, okay, well, you guys suck. <laughs> and I don't want you on my team anyway, so goodbye. Ooh, can you do it? He's not happy about it, but he's doing no. it. No. He was sussing them out. I think yeah. you're right. What? Oh, wow. Whoa. Yeah, he's just like, I, I'm, I've been loyal to you yeah. forever, dog. You got, like, just be real with me. What's going on here? <laughs> Dang. Is he going to have to follow through? Don't do it, my guy. Don't do it. He said it, though. Don't do it. Feels like they're playing a game of chicken. Bah. This guy's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> no. This sucks. No. Damn. Can you just say I was joking? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Damn it. Oh Not him too. God. Like, he's a jerk, but they need him. Mm. Then why are you? I don't understand why you're doing this then. Just follow him to Osaka. It's like, die now or die in Osaka. So, which one? Oh my god. I don't get that. It just shows you what type of man he is. Now he's got to live with that. Is this part of his plan? 
安順と矢部重は大高じゃ翼短く動きが読みやすい What's she realizing? 広松様は我が古き友は己の務めをよう分かっておった Die for nothing. 我らの幸福を大阪に信じ込ませることが大事なのじゃ Oh, so he did it for him. Wow. Oh, so that was part of the plan. Wow. I guess so. Unless it was, it's part of his plan and he knew. Oh, her destiny oh calls. Damn. Damn. Shit. So much death in this episode. I think there's been death in every episode. Well, yeah. Char. <laughs> saying, saying, that, saying that, I realized how wrong I was. Oh. Are you making sexy eyes at him? I wonder if Toronaga's friend knew what was up. And he knew his role. And he knew, his he, role. knew he knew what he it's either that or Toronaga knew his friend so well that he knew that that is what he was going to do. Okay. Parting ways. I mean he signed the paper. They both did. He signed the paper too? Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that part. Well, his signature doesn't mean anything to him. <laughs> may you, may you, may you. Yeah. Um, may you. I wonder if Blackthorn <laughs> has a different perspective on things than we think. Yeah, he is always 10 steps ahead of all of you. I wonder what was written on the paper. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, he really is sick, though. I don't think he's, he's coughing he's, alone. He's, yeah. He's not putting up a roof for the walls. He's not pretending. Whoa. Unless it's for them. That's like old school automatic doors. Maybe. Yeah, maybe it is for them. Because he doesn't know who the spies are, probably, right? Exactly. So you have to pretend even when you think no one's listening. He, yeah, for buying time. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I was kind of hoping for a flashback of him talking to Hiromatsu, whatever his name is. Yeah. Of like, yo, this is the plan, dog. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta make it look real. I was kind of hoping. But I but don't. I don't think that was even fully necessary because even earlier on, when he sent the priest back to Osaka. Hiromatsu knew. Mm -hmm. He knew exactly what was going on. Like, they don't even have to use words. They are sure. on each other's level. And so whether or not he had a conversation with Hiromatsu and said, like, hey, this is what I need you to do for me, or whether it was Hiromatsu just knew yeah, yeah. exactly what the plan was that he was going to, like... I get you. Yeah. I, I get you. I just, you know, there's, there's a part of me that's like, but what if he didn't know? And he just, like... <laughs> You know, well, yeah, that's uh, that's there's also a part of me that asked that same question. Like, what yeah. if he just didn't know? Because there was something that Toranaga said where he was like, the Anjin and Hiromatsu are like goss hawks. I don't know exactly what those are. I'm assuming they're like a, a specific type of hawk, right? Their behavior is predictable. Right. So maybe it was just that he knew exactly what moves they were going to make because he can read people really well. Right. That was a powerful episode. It was. I feel like this episode really showed us who a lot of these people were. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, well, that's the whole point, isn't it? Yeah. It was very hard-hitting, everything going on yeah. in the episode. It was just like, dang, all the deaths had a lot of impact. In previous episodes, we've actually seen more deaths slew a whole bunch of people. Right. Right. But they didn't ha carry that same weight. Wait, yeah, yeah, exactly. So when the first wife died, th that was the death that like kind of like shook me a little bit just because we saw something in her face for a moment and it's not as if anyone else could see her. Yeah. That was just an intimate moment of her own where she felt something and then she put it away. And I'm like, oh, that's fascinating because I've never seen that. See, I love that you interpreted it that way. For me, I was like, because for me, I feel like every single time we see Lady Oshiba, she is putting on a show. Every emotion that we see on her face is... Uh, carefully crafted so that you know she's never showing how she truly feels mm -hmm. and so she always comes across as this like mild gentle meek lady she always says the right things anytime Ishido is like trying to put the moves on her she's all like 
oh no, you, it's only because I was reflecting the greatness of my late husband and blah, blah, blah. Like she says all the right things. Mm -hmm. I thought that in that moment, that kind of coldness that came over her face was more a glimpse of how she really felt. So I guess we will see in later episodes which one is more accurate. Yeah. Yeah, but she is fascinating to me. Like I've I've heard people say in the comments that the actress playing her is like a really famous Japanese actress who's kind of well known for playing complicated characters. Okay. And so it totally makes sense that they cast her to play this role and she's doing a really great job because she's so hard to read. The scene of Lord Toronaga finally coming to the place where they cremated his son. The deaths are really meaningful because they're super valuable at this point because they're very strategic. His son didn't realize when he died, obviously, like that was an accident, but actually he had given his father a great gift because he had bought him 49 days of extra time, of time to plan to, you know, get himself together and get his crew together and figure out a way forward. And then Hiromatsu's death was also a gift because it's showing to the enemy like, oh, he really is feeling defeated. Like he can put up this front and make them believe that he's weaker when in fact he's just plotting and planning. Well, I'm wondering about Blackthorn. Maybe Blackthorn's not showing all of his cards, you know? That's possible. Uh, when Blackthorn kind of got up in a tantrum and was like, this is the great Lord Toronaga and just kind of, you know, a lot um, allying with the guy who is the, the the one who's allied with everybody, you know? <laughs> Yabushige. Yabushige. I, it makes me wonder if Blackthorn is basically like Toronaga, just a white version. I don't know. <laughs> you know. If he if he's turning into like the white version of Toronaga, that would be interesting because I think that would be an arc, right? Because from what we've seen of him from the very beginning is that he's always been a guy who, while he is quite smart and he is a survivor and he can think on his feet and knows what to do to kind of get out of a, a pickle, he also is a lot more emotional and like just reckless mm -hmm. than Taranaga. He kind of just goes with his feelings and does the thing. And, and he's very different from his Japanese counterparts. Sure. And so if he has become more like Toronaga and just more cunning, yeah. then that would be an interesting arc because we've seen how in this episode he's really changed. And I mean, it's been a gradual change, right? And we've kind of gotten used to seeing him in the Japanese clothes and, you know, he's really learning the language and all of that. But in this episode, you really see the difference when he comes up against his old, uh, like, colleagues Ship, shipmates friends, yeah. yeah and they're just dirty and they're gross and you're reminded like oh he was like them he started out like them but and he's been schooled exactly by and, Japanese culture <laughs> and now he's like he's somewhere in between you know it was interesting what what he said to Yabushige where he's like I'm I'm not like I'm not like my my countrymen anymore. Yeah. But, but I think that his Japanese. plan was always to help out Japan, though. Even when he was going to get back his countrymen, it seemed like his intent was to help them out. Although, to be fair, just to clarify, in case people are like going to jump down our throats, they're not his countrymen. I know they're Dutch, but the you know the people he's crew with his crew. Yeah. Right, but it seemed like his plan was always to get them back and help out. You know. Like, it didn't seem like he was just going to fly off into the sunset. Right, but his his goal has always been to take down the Catholics. Sure. That's always been his main goal. Yeah, it yeah. just so happens that perhaps he can help Toronaga in the meantime. Right. You know, I, I guess there's there's a recognition, or at least he says so, where he and, and Yabushige are kind of those people who... They're always looking out for a way to survive and a way to get their goals achieved. I always had thought that when he encounters his men again, it wasn't going to be pretty. I just didn't know exactly how. I thought that they were going to be like, I don't know, emaciated or something. And like, it's, you know, food deprived, sleep deprived, tortured something. Yeah. And like, he's going to kind of try to save them. And they're going to be like, where have you been all this time? Just living it up. 
and to find out they've been living it up was fascinating. And uh, th but the idea that it wasn't going to work out, I always kind of sensed that that was going to be the outcome. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know how exactly they're living it up because it costs money to buy sake and and get hooers. Um But uh, <laughs> that's everything. <laughs> yeah, and so I don't know what they're doing. But they they don't seem very happy about that though. At least that guy was kind of like. I just want to leave. Why did you leave us here? There was still that sense of, you know, you abandoned us and we're not happy. Well, here he certainly at all. didn't want to go with Blackthorn. I mean, he, Blackthorn was like, I came to get you guys out. And he's like, screw you. But because, uh, you know, according to him, like he's wearing the clothes of the enemy, right. as it were. Well, so he sees like, Blackthorn as someone who's always chasing his own ambition and not right. really caring about who ends up getting hurt as a result. Yeah. But it's like, that's, but that was still your door. And you said no to it. So, you know, you've chosen to stay with the whores. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like that's what you decided on in that moment. Uh, it's a little bit uh, sad that, you know, he didn't get to talk to the rest of the crew. But it just seemed like he didn't really have a choice. He had to bounce. It's like he, he already knew before he even spoke with the guy, like, oh, you're not my people anymore. I have no people. Yeah. I'm literally just an island right now. Yeah. So Can he, relate. Yeah. He's definitely, <laughs> he's definitely in an awkward spot just because he's been like, He's gotten the opportunity to see who he was in a way that most people don't get to. Yeah. You know? Exactly. I've, I'm sure it was like a shocking revelation yeah. to be faced with that and be like, oh, gross. I ugh, I used to be like that. Yeah. That's so weird. Do you feel bad at all for, uh, I'm going to mess up his name, Bun Buntaro? Yeah. Oh, oh, what's his name? Yeah, you got it right. Oh, okay. Yes and no yes because <laughs> i feel bad for him because obviously like he's in a situation he's really trying with his wife mm -hmm. and it's almost like it's too little too late you know you he didn't he didn't give her the thing that she wanted which i'm glad he didn't because then we wouldn't have her obviously but he just doesn't get it he doesn't get the just the depth of her, I don't know if it's hatred or indifference or just coldness towards him. Mm. And he was really trying to like reach out and it just wasn't working. And then to have his father die and basically he had to kill him was another awful thing that he had to do. But then the thing that his father said to him, because, you know, he said, oh, I, I'm going to go with you. And his dad was like, no, and now you know what it feels like to be denied. It's just like a double. Because mm. that's exactly how uh, Mariko must have felt, mm -hmm. you know, to, to ask for the thing and then ha have her husband, who's the one person who has the power to say yes or say no to her request, say, no, you can't do that. Now Bentaro finally knows. <sighs> yeah, but it's just wild because he, he thought he was saving her life. And this whole time, she just kind of hates him. Yeah. This is a, just a big lesson in communication. <laughs> but I guess it's a different era. And it's also Asian culture. You know, Asian culture is it's not exactly spoken on the surface, you know, generally speaking. It's no. usually like eight layers deep behind a fence. Well, that's so. why I found like all of the use of haiku so beautiful in this episode. Because like all the emotions that they're not able to outwardly express, yeah. they're saying that through the poetry. So like even Bantaro's kind of awkward attempts at the haiku, and obviously Marco is like so good at it, you know, he was trying to be sweet and romantic to her and you know, she was being polite and all, but I wondered, it wasn't working out. I wondered if at all she was gonna give in uh, and it was gonna be this awkward, love triangle situation no well I obviously no but like it just seemed like that's potentially where it was headed because he was trying so he hard was trying so hard yeah. I felt bad for him I felt bad for him because I recognized that he was trying so hard but I also knew just looking at her and from her previous actions throughout the show it's like she's she's immovable there is no way <laughs> I would have felt bad for him more if he didn't mess her up 
that's just, just it, that that's got me messed up. Like, dude, you it's like I want to feel empathy for you, but ugh, you made her face bleed. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah. God dang, man. And I'm sure she's not forgotten that either. So a spider never forgets. <laughs> A spider never forgets. That's why you make sure you kill them. <laughs> but go and hide somewhere and get you while you're sleeping. You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is a powerful episode. This, there was a lot going on uh, emotionally. It was one of those things where I could feel like, okay, this feels like the episode before the episode. You know, it's like the oh, setup to like right. the ultimate episode. That's kind of what I was feeling this whole time. And so when she said, I'm ready, I thought the episode was going to end there. The fact that it went on a little longer was icing on the cake. There were so many parts in this episode where I was like, oh, they're going to end it here. Yeah. Oh, no. And oh, OK, they've, they've carried on. They're, they're showing like the funeral of, of the, the lady. Mm -hmm. OK, cool. They're ending it here, right? Oh, no, 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 no. There's yeah, yeah. more. I was like, Wow. Every single moment, they gave us a little bit extra. Yeah. I was loving it. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Cook. Peace out.